Hello everyone, welcome to another video and today we are going to be opening up a pair of the Valor boxing gloves. So you may have seen on my 7 Essentials video that we actually spoke a little bit about them saying how they were a really good price glove for the quality you get so I decided I should probably buy myself a pair so that I can actually do a proper, re uh, proper review for you guys so let's jump into them. So as you can see when you open the bag, I've torn it a little bit, they come in another sort of like cellophane sort of bag, on them they have a sticker saying approved, so I'm guessing they have some sort of system where they go through and people check them, either that or they just stick it on and all of their gloves just to make it look like that, <laughs> one or the other. So these gloves I actually managed to get on a sale for £20 and I think £20 for a pair of boxing gloves, like it's worth giving them a go to see what they're like. So these are also brought in 10 ounce, so as you can see from the side, the first thing I've noticed actually is how thin they are down that side there. So we will get a pair of scales out in a bit and see if we can uh, whack them on there. So I'm just going to whack this one on. Okay, so it does feel pretty stiff, which is what I'd expect from a glove straight out of the packaging anyway. The foam pattern is pretty soft, so it'll be interesting to see how that holds up in the long run. You'll see that you don't get any form of padding on the cuff. So that is literally just the, almost like, I guess there's a tiny bit of padding in there, but it's no more than maybe like, it's no more than 3 mil. but I'd say. It's not like you get on your, like, your Cleto Reyes or anything like that. It's a very, very thin bit of padding. As the cuff comes across as well, your padding then sits underneath there. So again, it's very, very thin. I wouldn't rely on that for catching punches too much. The thumb is attached, which is what we like to see. Having a quick look around at the stitching, I can't see any major faults with the stitching. It would just be a case of depending on how much it does hold up. First impressions of the stitching is actually, I'm quite surprised to be honest. I thought there'd be more mishaps, so to speak, where there'd be loose threads and things like that, but I can't see any to be honest with you. All looks good to me. As you see the logo, they do have the, the Eagle or Hawk logo, I'm not too sure which one it is, on the back of the glove and it says power on the front. So these are the, the Valor Power ones. So these started at £70, which I think is not a good starting point for a pair of these gloves. So as you know, they're now down to £20, which I wouldn't want to say suits their market, but I definitely think for £20, this is an almost a no-brainer for starting out. It fits nice. These are 10 ounce and they feel quite big for a 10 ounce, but again, I suppose if you want to, if you're a bigger person, you want to use 10 ounce, then they'd fit you too. I have no hand wraps on at the moment, so I'm not percent easy to gauge. The velcro system you can see is where it's been stitched, it's pulled itself a bit to be pulled up, but the velcro seems right, it's not coming off anytime soon. Um, I don't want to pull it too much because you'll probably hear it down the camera. On the back the logo is embossed, so that's all in there. And then obviously just in inside you have your 10 ounce marker and then another little logo there. But yeah, so what I'm going to do is going to give these gloves a few months, I would say. Let's give them a good proper use. I think Valor might be redoing their range because at the moment they've got a lot on sale. I will link their website in description so you guys can go take a look for yourselves. For £20, I feel like these are, again, a bit of a no-brainer really. They started at 70 I feel like they should have probably marked them down to around the £40, £45 range because then they could have undercut ringside on some of their uh, more fitness style gloves. I really think that price range would have suited them well and they wouldn't have had to like reduce their prices too much. but. We'll have to wait and see. I think they're probably redoing their gloves and having a new range come out, which is why they're cutting the price of these ones. But we'll have to wait and see. Uh, there'll also be links for Amazon in the below if you're not a fan of using different websites and you just want to order them from Amazon. I'll pop them in the links uh, below as well. Yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and I'll catch you next time. 